With a kid who got his claws All your fashion know it all Gail is so fantastic <laughs> Gayla Bentley is in the business of making women look good I'm wearing a denim two-piece outfit uh, from Gayla Bentley It doesn't wrinkle, it's easy, it's comfortable Designing clothes for women with curves is Bentley's passion She got her start as a department store personal shopper and fashion consultant On the side, she organized shopping trips to Paris But something was missing As soon as I saw the Paris designers and all the creations that they have and how beautiful they were and how none of them were in a size over eight or ten. It just kept, every time I go back to Paris, I'd get more and more excited thinking, I could do this for all the women in the world that would like to look really high fashion and beautiful and have style. Her busy day job dressing the fashionable women of Houston kept her from starting her own business. And then her life came to a screeching halt after surviving a severe car accident. I was director of the Fifth Avenue Club at Saks Fifth Avenue. One day I went to deliver something and ended up breaking my neck. But it ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me. I took, it took me about three years to recuperate from that, but I was able to really plan um, some new things to do in my life. She started designing her own line of upscale, extended size clothing and opened a showroom that looks like something you'd find in Paris, not Texas. <laughs> I wanted to have this look like a French apartment so that when women came in, they could leave all their troubles of the day behind and come into like a little fantasy world and start to play dress up and find some clothes and have fun in the experience. Fashion should be fun. Gayla's husband, Russell, spent 25 years in the oil industry. But when his wife had the idea to start a company, he couldn't resist the opportunity to join her. I always wanted to, uh, to do something with Gayla. She has a big entrepreneurial spirit within her that was nurtured within me. Uh, as I got my MBA back in 97. MBA in hand, Russell set out to take on the fashion world. His first step, developing a business plan to attract investors. He spent months coming up with detailed spreadsheets, sales strategies, and plans for growth. The final product, a very ambitious and very long business plan. What was the reaction of investors when you came to them with this 100-page business plan? Um... Well, I think the reaction was, you've done a lot of good things here. Uh, I don't think anybody ever really read it, to be honest with you. Before going any further, they decided to get some business advice from SCORE, a government-funded nonprofit association dedicated to educating entrepreneurs. SCORE is um, Counselors to America's Small Business. That's it. Alan Shapiro, a retired retailer with over 30 years in the fashion industry, was the SCORE advisor assigned to the Bentleys. The cost for this service? Nothing. He had a, a playbook this size with a business plan. What'd you think? Give me a break. <laughs> no, I, I, I went through it. I went through it. And uh, very honestly, I, uh, I said, uh, it's impressive, uh, comprehensive. However, I don't agree with some of these things. At the center of their business plan was the launch of a high-end retail catalog. They were planning on using $250,000 of their own savings along with loans to start their business when Shapiro stopped them in their tracks. We had this big three to five million dollar catalog extraordinaire kind of plan, you know. And he said, that's just, I'm sorry, but it's just not going to fly. You know, this is just too risky. And I believed him. Putting their future in the hands of their score advisor, they switch gears. Instead of a catalog, Allen suggested two cheaper alternatives, selling their clothes online and in retail stores. And as the company grows, Allen continues to monitor their progress. For a while I was coming here once or twice a week. Uh, I'm on top of what's going on. They tell me uh, their trade secrets. So, I mean, there is a real relationship here. Now, Gayla Bentley's clothes are sold in dozens of boutiques and at NeimanMarcus.com. I think that's what clicked for me, is when Neiman Marcus started carrying my things online and they sold without me being there, I knew I was successful. Because the clothes did the work themselves without me being with them. You